What is up, good people? It's Rocco. Now, if this was 1991, I would be pulling the ultimate baller move. I'm about to open a box of 1991 Stadium Club football. Oh yeah. I remember back at, back when I was like 11 years old when this came out, these were like, from what I recall, like six, seven bucks a pack. These were extremely high end. Now, I think the reason for that is these were absolutely revolutionary cards. These are the first cards that looked like this with the awesome full color photography, that beautiful blue uh, nameplate with the gold border on it. Always loved stadium clubs so much, both baseball and football. I just wasn't able to really afford them back when I was a kid. But things have changed now. <laughs> and you know what we're looking for in this. We're looking for Brett Favre, rookie card. And by the way, since this is 1991 in this video, there's going to be a lot of Tecmo Super Bowl references. I'm just warning you straight up. Now the, uh, the 92 Stadium Club Brett Favre is a lot more valuable book-wise. I think because the High Series of 92 was short print and that card was uh, the first one that had him in a Packers uniform. It, the, like the picture was him in a Packers uniform at training camp. This, this one, his true rookie card, is... Um, it's of him in his uh, Southern Miss uniform. But I think 92 Stadium Club looks really boring compared to this. And this is his true rookie card. Now, since these are glossy, I'm going to assume these are really stuck together really badly. So I'm going to I'm going to cut and and make the uh in a uh, bring it back after I open all the packs and like break them, uh, break all the cards apart um, while trying not to reveal too much. So I'm going to break it here and I will see you in a minute. Well, that took a while. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, uh, I'm really glad I did not open those packs and full on during the video. I'm really glad I cut it because it wasn't just one of those things where you could just take the cards and just kind of go, kind of bend them slightly and then come apart. It, they were, they were kind of stuck together individually, if you know, if you kind of know what I mean. That was a pain in the butt. But let's go ahead and, and get into these stacks. All right. I did not I did not see a farve. I've not seen a farve yet going through these. But I'll stop whenever I come to a relevant player here. Man, the photography on these cards is unbelievable. It just blew people's minds when these first came out. This is a club membership thing. That was Rod Woodson Hall of Famer right there. Very cool. Jeff George, the second worst quarterback on Tecmo Super Bowl. The Colts are terrible. The Colts and the Colts, Patriots, and Cardinals were teams. Yeah, I never won the Super Bowl with those teams. I think there were more as well, but. <laughs> <laughs> Those teams are terrible. Anthony Munoz, Hall of Famer. There's Randall Hill. I don't know if y'all saw that uh, ESPN 30 for 30, the U. He was prominent in that. I don't think he did much in the NFL, though. There's Melvin Bratton. On the, from the same team. Let's see. 
see. There we go. Well, a punter and a kicker back to back. <laughs> ah, Warren Moon. One of the most underrated quarterbacks of all time. You never hear people talking about Warren Moon for some reason, but he was awesome. He was just on a bunch of really, really crappy teams. He had nothing around him. He just threw to that pretty good receiving core. He had no running game, not very much pat, not very much blocking protection, not much defense to help him out. I'll put that over here. Why not? All right. Schrader, Monty Dawson. There's Randall Cunningham. Cool picture of Randall there. Steve Tasker, the special teams specialist. That picture kind of encompasses everything Tasker was about right there. The Gunner. Marcus Allen, Hall of Famer. Let's see. Oh, this is another like promotional thing. Wow, we already got the kicker and the punter from the Dallas Cowboys, and we just barely started here. Come on, Brett. Whoop, actually threw a regular card out there. That's the one I wanted to throw out. There we go. Chris Miller. He had like he had one or two good seasons for that really fun Falcons team from the early 90s. Don Mikowski. The pre-Farve Packers quarterback. Very cool. Broderick Thomas. All right. Now, I forget how many, uh, how, how much these boxes were. Like, if you wanted to buy a box of this from a hobby shop back in the day, what it would cost. Uh, I forgot what it was. It had to have been hundreds of dollars. But there's, okay, we, we've, we've discovered how PS, it, like, if you sent these cards into PSA, we discovered how they would determine really poor centering. Right there. Look at that. All right, so now we know. You're, so even with these that don't have borders, you're not out of the woods when it comes to centering. Hey, there he is. There's my dude Emmett. Awesome. I said my dude. I'm not a Cowboys fan anymore. I stopped giving a crap about them and I was like back in like the late 90s when Jerry Jones really fully took over every little micro transaction from a GM standpoint I'm like I can't do this anymore they're just not fun to root for but Emmett Emmett was my guy love that dude Brad Muster. Ah, this one's kind of... I got a crease in it. 
But he's probably the best Tecmo Super Bowl fullback. He's, you just hand him the ball and not even not even tap A. And he would just like bowl over people. Instant first down every time. Troy Aikman. Very cool. Well, and Jerry Rice right next to him. Back-to-back -back Hall of Famers. Awesome. Barnett, Richard Cobb, Ernest Spiner, very good running back for a long time, back in the 80s. There we go. There's Thurman, Hall of Famer. Awesome. Wow. And these are, look at these two. That is awful on the centering on the nameplate there. All I'm hope, hoping for is the Farv. If we get a Farv to be clean, that would be cool. <laughs> Bubby Brister. <laughs> Art Monk, Billy Joe Tolliver, out of Texas Tech. Awesome, man. Yep, right there. Sweet. It's a quarterback of some really bad Texas Tech teams in the 80s. And some really bad Chargers and Saints teams in the, in the 90s in the NFL. Dude had a, a howitzer for an arm, though. Jeez. Just a country gunslinger. There's Elway. Very cool. Brown. The Minister of Defense, Reggie White. Very cool picture there. There's another Marcus Allen card. I think this is the second one. Another punter. I'm of the opinion that by law, all punters and kickers must wear the single bar face mask. I, I, I will, that's a hill I will die on right there. There's no reason for them not to wear the single bar face mask. Give me a logical reason. They don't get hit. Why not? Give me a logical reason why they shouldn't. Sam Mills, very unsung player, middle linebacker. Very unsung player back in the day. Blair Thomas, former number one overall pick, who did not pan out. Duper. Ken O'Brien drafted above Dan Marino in the draft. I think it was the 83 draft. Yeah, he was drafted above Marino. Go figure. And he was still, he, like, he had a decent career, Ken O'Brien. 
but man. For Mark Rippin. Dave Waymer. Again with the Tecmo Super Bowl reference, but this guy was a monster in the in the defensive backfield in Tecmo Super Bowl. Like if he threw a pass, like even in the same side of the field, all of a sudden he'd just fly up and pick off your pass every time. He was awesome. The 49ers were Man, if you're if you're rolling, if you're trying to beat a beat a, win the Super Bowl with a really crappy team, you'd always face the 49ers in the Super Bowl, and they just, it, that defense made it so difficult. Neil Anderson, a few good years for the Bears. Another Bubby Brister. It's Phil Sims. Andre Risen. It's Kevin Green. I think he's a Hall of Famer. But he was like the J.J. Watt of his day. He was just that, that edge monster. The other Eddie Murray. And another kicker. All right, come on, Brett Favre. Where are you, buddy? It's a Ricky Waters rookie card. Washington, Clayton. Kicker, one check. Oh, Derek Thomas. Whoa, how awesome is that picture? <laughs> wow, that is freaking awesome. This quarterback destroyer right there. That is sweet. Man, what a career this guy had. Like for he didn't he didn't have very many years before he passed away. But man, he was just he was an absolute monster. What a player. There's Junior Seau, second year card. I just saw the uh 30 for 30 that came out recently on him. Man, that, what a sad story. That is, man. I thought, like, when he was playing, I thought he was a really, really cool guy. Like, really, really likable guy. And it just, the world came crashing down on him after his career. It was, it was so sad. But it was, a really, it was a really good documentary. I highly recommend it. But prepared to be really saddened and... Never depressed afterwards, but because man, it's Stephen the touchdown maker Baker. Jerome Brown. Yeah, yes, I didn't just make that up. That I, 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 that's what they call. That was his nickname back then. I don't know how the hell I remember that. See Novacek. Flipper Anderson. So why? Mike Rozier. Bruce 
Matthews Hall of Famer. Barry Owens, Jumbo Elliott. Jeff Hostetler, believe it or not, a Super Bowl winning quarterback. When they, uh, when they beat the Bills back in 90, Phil Simms was injured. Probably the least likely Super Bowl winning quarterback ever. But damned if he didn't do it. Richard Dent. Tom Rathman. Ellard. Well, there was the first stack of two. No Favre yet. Hopefully we'll be back loaded with Brett Favre cards right here. Okay. Ben Smith. Whoa, Roger Craig as a Raider. I forgot he was a Raider. Longtime 49er from those great teams in the 80s. Hunter. I should have called a uh, a kicker slash punter drinking game before I started going through the cards, but then uh, I then you all would all be hammered and uh, I would feel bad about irresponsible alcohol consumption. So it's probably all for the best. Hey, it's the Nigerian Nightmare, Christian Okoye. My second favorite running back on Tecmo Super Bowl next to Bo Jackson. This dude, you didn't even have to hit A. His power was, he was like the speed power guy. He, he just ran, you could just run over people. You, bar you barely even had to hit A at all. Barely had to tap A and he did, his defense would go flying. He was awesome. Tecmo Super Bowl is still the greatest sports video game of all time, and I will hear no argument. Baseball Stars for the NES was number two, and it still is. But it's a distant second. I still play Tecmo Super Bowl on a, uh, a semi-frequent basis. I have an emulator, NES emulator on my computer. There's Bo. Speaking of the man himself, I challenge you to fire up an, em an NES emulator on your computer and play Tecmo Super Bowl. Uh, see if you can run out the entire clock in an entire quarter on one play with Bo Jackson. I think you can. I believe you. He was uncatchable. You just run up and down, zigzag, and just run out the entire quarter. Yeah, he was a beast. El Gray. Come on, where are you, Brett Favre? Merrill Hodge. There's a Tony Siragusa rookie card. I I look uh, I went on Cardboard Connection and looked up if there were any other rookies besides Brett Favre, and he's one of them. There's Goose, the rookie card there. Martin. 
Thanks. Herschel. Carrier checklist. <laughs> Punter, that's that's a manly picture right there. <laughs> it's Mike Golick, a radio guy now. I never I never really cared for the Mike and Mike show. I don't I don't know if he's still doing it, but there's I just never really cared for that show personally. I couldn't pinpoint or any particular reason why I just, eh. It was just a little, the way that show was, it was just a little too milk toast for me. I like a little harder edge when it comes to sports talk. Jim Harbaugh, Carney, Jim Everett. Don't tell Jim Rome I got a Jim Everett card. Patriots. I respect the New England Patriots organization, but please bring back the Patriot Pat uniforms. Please. We miss them. Patriots are a great team, but their uniforms look like crap. <laughs> the, the striping is all off on the pants, dude. But bring back the Patriot Pat uniforms. There's another Marcus Allen. I think this is like the third one. Uh, Eric Bien. I think he won the Heisman this year. Noonan. Jeffries. Dan McGuire. I mean, come on. You don't want to see Tom Brady. Wearing a uniform that looks like that. He deserves to wear a uniform like that looks like that. Come on. Andre Tippett. Underrated player there. He's a very good linebacker. We're on some really, really bad Patriots teams back in the 80s, early 90s. There's LT. Awesome, man. This is the off center on the uh, stripe there. Just off the side. I was messing up my foot, my auto focus. Dixon, Bar, Pryor, Altoon, Jordan, John Taylor. Leads got three miles. Okay. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous here, man. Fortunately, this box wasn't wasn't that expensive, so I won't I won't be like pissed or anything. But it, it, it would it would definitely suck. It is it would be in the realm of major suckitude if I did not get a Brett Favre in this. BB, Vinny Testaverde. So the Reggie White card. Get that over there. Turner, Drew Hill, Bubby, Crack.
Craig Ironhead Hayward. Another one of my favorite nicknames of all time. The Nigerian Nightmare is my all-time favorite for football, though. He, he's probably second. They're single, Terry. Very cool. Koofer, Pinky. Jerry Gray. Starting to lose my grip on these cards here. Well, one second. There we go. There's another Derek Thomas. What a cool picture, man. Quarterback sack. Andre Bad Moon Rising. Look what we have here. Awesome. Brett Favre rookie card. I, I, was, I was starting to sweat a little bit. <laughs> the centering on the stripe looks pretty good. Let's see what the back looks like. You know what? I think this is a pretty nice football card right here. One second. Yep. It's part of the card. Awesome, man. Let me let me go ahead and put this in a card saver. Hold on a sec. Cuz I'm having to be very gentle with it. So once I get it in the card saver, I could really take a good close look at it. Bam. Awesome. You know, I th I'm thinking this is definitely PSA bulk order worthy right here. As soon as I saw the centering right here, I didn't see any like dings on the back, you know, any like chipping or anything on the back. I'm like, yeah, this is this is definitely going in a going in a card saver. Awesome. Well, I'm relieved. <laughs> Fantastic. <clears throat> so in the past couple of weeks, I've gotten a Derek Jeter rookie out of a 93 Tops box and now a Brett Favre rookie out of 91 Stadium Club. It's... I mean, they're both in the Brett Favre. Well, I mean, yeah, they're not like the most high end rookies or anything. In terms of value, they're not like worth like hundreds or anything. But it's something. Which is good because kind of lately I've been feeling like Gil Gunderson from The Simpsons. <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to YouTube sports card 
community, you know, openings and stuff. <laughs> hey, what's all what's all Rocco got to do to get a good card in these packs? Sterling Sharp. Hey, maybe there's another one in here. I've already, from what I remember, I've already seen like three or four Marcus Allen cards in here. A couple of Reggie Whites. Why can't there be another Brett Favre? You never know. That was a little too optimistic, though. I may be punished for that. Let's find out. <laughs> the card gods did not were not pleased with that that comment I just made. That was way too positive. James Lofton. Is, is he a Hall of Famer? I know Andre Reed is. I think he is, too, because he had some good years with the Redskins as well. I don't know the Football Hall of Fame as, as thoroughly as I do the Baseball Hall of Fame. Hall of Famer. I know that for sure. Bruce Matthews is the Hall of Famer. There's another Okoye. Stitler. Is this just me or is Cornelius one of the coolest names in existence? I always love the name Cornelius. It is it is not nearly used enough. It's a boomer assassin. Jeff Coat, Wolford. Still, Irvins. You know, like ten or so more cards to go. Will there be another Favre? Play Matthews for Doll. Smith Davis. <laughs> the last card is a Dan Marino. <laughs> so that's a decent consolation prize, at least. <laughs> it was not a Favre. I, I knew it. I knew I was too positive about getting a second Brett Favre. I knew I would be punished for that. I went flying, but just a little too close to the sun. But that's not a bad card to end on right there, a Dan Marino card. That's the only, that's the only one I recall seeing, so excellent. All right. Of course, the, the highlight of the start of the show, a Brett Favre rookie card, the true Brett Favre rookie card. 92 Stadium Club is lame and boring. 91 Stadium Club is awesome. Therefore, this is the true rookie card in many ways. And we have 
bunch of star cards here. You got Marino. I guess you can consider Singletary star card. Reggie White. Lawrence Taylor, a little off center though there. Bo Jackson. Marcus Allen. Reggie White again. Elway. Thurman Thomas. Jerry Rice. Aikman. Emmett. And Warren Moon. Well, man, I am. I really made an effort. To, I, I wanted to do it. I wanted to venture outside of baseball for for a for a box because I've been doing like all baseball the last month. I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and didn't mind the switch up. Some of you 100% uh, baseball guys out there, I hope you didn't mind this too much. It's a little something to mix it up. But man, it was really great going back in time. I mean, this was an ultra, ultra premium product when this first came out. I, I could not afford these packs, but now, now that I'm all grown up and yeah, I, I finally was able, I dreamed of doing this when I was about 11, 12 years old. So I finally got a chance to. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this guys. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.